I guarantee you that. And today's smart topic is food food that is good for your brain. Research shows some foods have chemicals that go straight to our brain cells. Connie, let me ask you a question. Mm -hmm. What kind of foods do you think are good for your brain? Mm. <laughs> well, fortunately, we've done some research, and according to the <laughs> Journal <laughs> <laughs> of Pediatrics, anything that is very high in refined sugars and carbohydrates is not good for your brain, Daph. Okay, well, thank you for letting us know on that one. <laughs> I really appreciate that. Let and me you're just right say, you do the healthy food. <laughs> I do the yummy food. I thought for food. sure you said chocolate was good for your brain. It, it is. Could, it could be. It, it could is. be. And you know the saying that you are what you eat. It can be true, especially when it comes to your kids going back to school. Yeah, that's right. And it's one of our smart topics. And it's one of the topics in this month's issue of Green Living Magazine. Mm -hmm. It's the back to school issue there. Fabulous. And joining us now is the editor in chief, Titian Donkersley. Hello, our, lady. One of our favorite Hello. friends. Hello, back Hello. to school. Hi. You know, when you walk in the door, I always feel like I need to stand up straight. I'm going to learn something about nutri oh, goodness. nutrition mm -hmm. well, and well, the earth. Being and green and eco friendly. And there it is. Everything pure is, <laughs> comes out of you. Well, well, thank you very much. <laughs> I feel so pure. Yeah. So, so we talked about foods that may not necessarily be good for you, but, right. I mean, good for you, you know, yeah. but what are foods that are actually going to help enhance your brain power? Because I sure could use some. Well, I needed some earlier, and Connie knows what that was about, <laughs> but <laughs> we'll get to it in a We'll get to that one, but yeah. let's start with for our kids in the morning. The breakfast is one of the most important um, meals of the day, yeah. so first we want to want to promote the oats okay. and it's grain for the brain as I like to say it with mm -hmm. uh, vitamin K vitamin E and B that are wonderful and that wonderful. really kind of helps keep you full for a little while too doesn't it, does. it? if you've got sticks. those yeah, yeah I it like really that. sticks it really fills up your tummy that's good that's great and then we move on to the nuts and I picked um, almonds walnuts and these mm -hmm. are candied but they're still good mm -hmm. and flaxseed which Oh, you know, when you say flaxseed, people get a little bit nervous about flaxseed because mm -hmm. they feel like, oh, that's just so granola-ish. <laughs> but it's, it's making its way into the popular scene, so, so don't, don't be scared yeah, of it. Yeah, don't be afraid of it. So what do you do with flaxseed? Well, um, I know you mentioned you told me earlier that you put it in your shakes. And well, mm -hmm. I do. And, you know, I, I, ha I, I take chocolate protein now, um, mm -hmm. the yeah. chocolate protein shakes, and I put them in my coffee in the morning as creamer so that I'm not using coffee but creamer. Not for your kids. No, no coffee for your kids. No, <laughs> no coffee for your kids. And then I thought, gee, you know what? What if I could put my flaxseed? in my coffee creamer in my coffee and it ended up being like pudding so don't try that <laughs> yeah no <laughs> it was not good but you know what one thing about flaxseed that a lot of people don't know about is that you really want it to be grounded you don't mm. want the whole flax seeds because you're not getting the oils out of that you want to make yeah. sure that they're grounded okay you put them on top of cereal and all those different things oh, too. Well, they're actually really good on cereal. look at you miss granola uh, I know yeah. I am <laughs> okay now we're to the food that now I, <laughs> I do remember now because it's great concentration because we were having a hard time mm -hmm. a moment ago I can't remember that focus focus <laughs> so I picked strawberries and blueberries because yeah. Because they, I know they're so good and fresh, mm -hmm. mm. and because they are good for short-term memory and concentration, as well as your wonderful antioxidants. Okay. Yeah, I should probably take one so I can stay focused all today. All right, mm. we'll do that. I love that. Mm. Any, well, I'll tell you any chance to snack along the way? No. <laughs> exactly. But I have to say, it sometimes it's a little bit difficult getting kids to eat fruit. It is, and that's why you get creative and maybe mm -hmm. put it in a shake, as you said, nice. or sure. put it in your pancakes or yeah. on okay. top of uh, some oatmeal. Or My something. son is eight, and we turn these into eyeballs, and then he loves oh, them. Oh, those are perfect. Awesome. Yeah, so or, perfect. or freezing He's, grapes too. Those are good. That's a good idea. You really just put them right there. Yeah, you know, and then he'll eat them. <laughs> exactly. It's not, if it's not okay. healthy. Okay. Focus, ladies. Dried Focus. fruit. Yeah, right. Okay. So dried fruit. I'm suggesting to put into the lunches if they like, because in yeah. the afternoon drag, as we all experience, mm -hmm. instead of you know for us it's coffee or something else, but for kids the dried fruit can really boost their energy levels. Yeah. And okay. banana chips are fun oh, because they're so used to just seeing a fresh banana that makes it kind of and they're yummy. Interesting. Right. Yummy. Hey, speaking of yummy, this is my absolute favorite yogurt. It's the anymore. best. What is it's up with banana yogurt? What's in there? I, I have one at every. It's creamy and <laughs> yummy. Now at Costco, they have them in this vat, and yes. I just buy the whole vat. By the vat. case. I look insane. Well, listen, yeah. I just wanted to tell you, ladies, that Greek yogurt has existed for a long time. <laughs> yeah. Okay? I just want to the magazine. Right, exactly. <laughs> I try to eat mine with a toga on. <laughs> no, but, but, but Greek oh, yeah. yogurt really is the big popular rage right now. It what is. makes it so great? It's just it's just the way it's processed. It's just a more pure um, type of yogurt process, and yeah. it's delicious. That's just one of the brands I brought, but your local grocer will have that as well but Rice. that is for not only calcium but also for learning abilities as well and I know that sometimes you've actually used it as almost like a sour cream or mm -hmm. an alternative yeah, you can on top other. of food that's exactly yeah. right group mm -hmm. yogurt and is you fabulous and healthy all of this with the yogurt that's exactly right beautiful all right eggs are eggs good food are they're great for brain power as we always said scrambled eggs scrambled <laughs> eggs and then the choline which is great for brain development as well is okay there. all right these are the things that you probably want to avoid over here right. this is yes. the brain drain it's hard mm -hmm. to pick those out not the that's water not the water <laughs> 
<laughs> the water. water. I'm going to move that. The yeah. But the thing to look for on, on your labels is high I fructose can, corn uh -huh. syrup. Mm -hmm. yeah. Bad, 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 bad. And even in some of the syrup, you think, oh, I'm making these pancakes, these good pancakes. Uh -huh. But if you check the syrup, and you're going to find high fructose corn syrup in a lot of those brands. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So even though it says blueberries on it, it's probably this, not, not these kind of blueberries. No, not those. So yeah. here's the general theme that I'm getting. <laughs> yes. Food that is good for your brain is food that is natural and the least processed. Food that is not good for your brain is food that has been processed. Simple. And there it is. Thank so you, you Tisha. Nice to see you. Yes, see you thank, you. thank you. And if you would like more information on this topic, you can head to our website at abc15.com and click on the lifestyle tab. You know.